Well, hello, Battle Squad, and welcome to the 20th episode of Logan Battles Reviews, where I give in my reviews for movies, TV shows, video games, and sports games. For this episode, I will be reviewing a movie that I went to see yesterday, Jack Reacher Never Go Back. So let's reach her this review, shall we? Reacher. Let's just go on. So what did I think about Jack Reacher Never Go Back? Well, first off, I say, I would say it's an okay movie. Yeah, that's pretty much how I would describe this whole movie. There are a lot of things in this film that I really like and enjoy watching, and other things in this film that I do not like and enjoy watching. And I will give you those things that I like and don't like in just a few moments. But before I do that, I want to let you guys know right off the bat that I did not watch the first Jack Reacher film. I didn't get a chance to watch it, so don't ask me why, because I don't exactly know why. Don't even ask me. Maybe because I was too busy doing a lot of things while that whole first Jack Reacher film came out. And like I didn't even know about it until a few years later. So with that being said, I will be giving my own opinions uh, and thoughts for what I thought about this movie. I'm not going to compare it to the original one that I did not yet see. I will judge this movie based on its merits or, or what it turns out to be like for me. Starting off with the cast, Tom Cruise as Jack Reacher. I thought he did a good job. I think his performance might be the best thing about this movie to me. He did a lot of really cool things that I thought were like, okay, he did a good job. Okay, cool job, Tom Cruise. You're doing, you're doing it. He did a good job in the film. I, he's probably, the, to me, the best part about this movie. Kobe Smulders as Major Susan Turner. She did a good job, I will say that. She did do some pretty cool parts, just like, same thing with Tom Cruise in this film. This girl uh, as Samantha in this film. All right, let me be honest. I didn't really care that much about her in this film. Her performance were kind of meh. That, that's all I had to say, just meh. In other words, she, she, she did an okay performance and stuff like that. She didn't really get me as much as Kobe Smulders and Tom Cruise did in this film. Her character, Samantha, in this film really gets irritating to me, or I should say annoying uh, to me at times. So at some points, not a lot, just sometimes she gets really annoying. Uh, this guy as Espen. I thought he was not too bad in this film. I think he per gave a pretty good, solid performance. I mean, I, uh, I mean, he's not as, uh, as much of a big role to me as he, uh, as Tom Cruise and Kobe Smulders were. But I thought he did a good job in the film. Now the story. I have a real, real problem with the story uh, of where it was going. Uh, what this movie was going with its story. And the story goes as Jack Reacher uh, uh, was going to find out uh, exactly uh, how Hobie Smulders' character, Major Turner, uh, got arrested for espionage, thinking he didn't believe, uh, not believing that she did it on purpose. Like he knew someone was doing this to her. And while he was trying to figure out who it was that did this to Major Turner, he also found, uh, you know, this girl that I told you about, who, is, who was rumored to be Jack Reacher's daughter, or to make Jack Reacher thought she's his daughter. As the movie went on, the story felt out of place. I felt like the story was going as the movie was still going on, but then again, as it goes on, it just went out of place. It just didn't felt that impactful to me. It was a not so very well written story. I mean, in the first half it is, but the second half? Mm-mm. See, I didn't think the story was very well written at all. And that's pretty much all I could say about the story. Now, the action scenes in this film, they were pretty... I guess you could say they're decent. Like, they're not that very impactful thing like uh, the Mission Impossible scenes, they were very much impactful and very entertaining and fun to watch. The action scenes in this film were pretty much good. They're pretty much de pretty good, decent looking type of action scenes, I guess. I would say Mission Impossible films have more 
much more thrilling action scenes, uh, mostly the car chases and motorcycle ch chase scenes, than the action scenes in this film. But other than that, I don't have any problems with the action scenes. They look pretty decent and really look good. Although there were some some action scenes, I guess you can say, maybe just maybe one or two, where it felt like it, it, it was almost like it felt very, very, a little bit forced and not very well put. That's what it felt like to me. There is an action scene or two or more that didn't really felt right to me. I do not know why. I do not know why. But there's just something about at least a few of these scenes where it didn't really feel like really good action scenes. You know, the fight scenes between Tom Cruise and some other bad guys. Now, the pace of this movie kind of felt flat a little bit. I mean, at times it got a little bit flat for me personally because I watched at least just a few or just a couple movies that I, which I reviewed on my channel, where they are actually fast, fast paced. This one, at times it felt a little slow. So I would say this is a somewhat slow paced film. The action scenes were solidly decent. In other words, okay. But the story felt a little bit out of place and the pace was kind of a little bit flat at times. Those are kind of like my overall thoughts about it. It's just, it's an okay movie, um, but it's something that, it was a, I, would, I guess you could say it's a good movie, but it's something that I would never watch it again, unless if a, a young pretty girl asks me if she wants to see it with me, or she wants me to go see it with her. I would say yeah, but that's about it. It's an okay movie that really doesn't really need to be watched again, or at least just for me. I'm giving Jack Reacher Never Go Back a Silver Medal of Honor. I didn't think it was great, but I also didn't really think it was as terrible as some reviewers that I've watched said it was. That is why I give this movie a Silver Medal of Honor. Okay guys, this is my review for Jack Reacher Never Go Back. If you guys enjoyed my review for Jack Reacher Never Go Back, please click the like button, and if you have seen this movie, Jack Reacher, Never Go Back, comment down below to let me know what you think of it. And if you enjoy what you've seen here and you want to see future videos from me, please click the subscribe button so that you never miss a video. I will see you guys both this week on Saturday, or no, I'm sorry, Friday, and another video next week with a brand new video. Two brand new videos. Have a great week, Battle Squad, and as always, fight the good fight. Peace.